G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and today we're looking at Lost for Swords. This is the demo of an upcoming roguelike deck builder game, which I've uh, come across on Steam. Somebody actually pointed this one out to me as part of the uh, Next Fest uh, event that's happening at the moment. And uh, if you know me, you know I hear roguelike and I say I want to play it. So let's have a look. Uh, basically, I haven't touched this one yet, so I've got nothing in the card library. <laughs> but uh, we'll jump in and see what we're in for. Okay, choose your hero. A oh, training seller, that might be a tutorial. With the knight, let's go. This is your hero. Guide your hero through the dungeons by clicking on cards or empty spots. Who's wall? Okay. Reach the door to continue. Weapons can be picked up and equipped. Old knife. Cards with orange borders can be attacked. Take that, you stupid barrel. Are you strong enough to attack this monster? Six health. No. No, I'm not. Armor can be picked up and equipped. Now I might be. Oh, that broke my armor. Okay. But as long as I attack first, I'm good. Interesting. Almost a desktop dungeons sort of gameplay. Uh, so grab the knife. The order of your actions matters. You can equip more than one weapon. You'll always attack with the weapon you equipped last. That'll kill him in one shot. Each weapon can be only can be used a limited number of times. Ah, oh, that's the three there. Okay. Uh. Okay. Slow attack. Guessing that means I go last, but he's only going to do three damage. I'll block that with my shield and should get him in one go. Nice. One use left on my old knife. I can clear that barrel and get out. Rusty sword. You can freely position yourself before attacking. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, the way they're facing probably matters, doesn't it? I oh, know, they're both looking at me anyway. But what's the benefit? And this I can attack him from below? Ah, oh, right, he attacks me. Okay. Right. I didn't think they reached out to attack you, I thought they just fought back when you attacked them. I just want to be up here and hit him. That's what they're talking about. Uh, Rusty sword. Monsters can only attack you after you interact with a card. It just doesn't have to be them specifically. So I really want to take him out. Get this sword. Uh, if I kill him, I'm stuck. So I want to take this one out first. Get that. Get him. Very, very uh, desktop dungeons, actually, it feels like. Not so much in the attacking them in sequential order to power up, but uh, more just about how you navigate and have to clear a path and think, think ahead. Only flipped up monsters can attack. Ah, so he won't attack me. But now he will. Defeat monsters in the right order to free up cards. I'll take him out. Get this card. Take him out. If I got that card, he'll attack me, so I get him with that one. Grab this. There we go. I think I'm getting it. Congratulations, you finished basic training. You want to embark now? There is advanced training, but maybe we'll just jump in. Old Tree Tower. 
the knight got the auroch up the top. Uh, five floors. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, wait. For a tower, you need your own cards. Take this. Hero's deck. Okay, broken shields. Same knife and same rusty swords as we saw earlier. Good luck. Thank you very much. Monster deck. Seven skeletons. You cannot always defeat all monsters in the room. When you've used up your available cards, it's best to go to the next room to refill the board. Okay. So I start with this knife. I got my shield. Find loot to go to next room. Okay. Um, I'll take that out. Go with the rusty sword. Okay. So cards left over add to this currency, whatever that is. Can I take these with me? Can. Can take them all. Perfect. Find a sword. Gauntlet. Equip first weapon from deck. Diagonal attack lance. 20 emeralds. Wait, does that sword not have a limited amount of uses? Or is it a once-off? Must be a once-off. Don't know what these emeralds do, but oh, diagonal attack could be good as well. I think I'll grab that. That could be useful. Small L room or a Y room? Uh, I don't know. All right, what have we got here? Take the shield. I've got a skeleton, so I can take him out quickly. He's being flipped now, so I need to be careful. I'll take this sword and I'll smack him. That one gets flipped. What does the pillar do? Excellent. So I'm going to attack the pillar. Don't know why, but I'm going to do it. Interesting. So I've got a key for my troubles there. Okay, another lance, another... Uh, six attack while no armor is equipped. Interesting. Low cast, deal three damage to each card. Emeralds. I guess I'll try the uh, spell. A wide room. Is that a boss? Full key. No, oh, it's just a skeleton. Okay. Uh, that's it. Floor cleared. Guess I can't take this stuff with me anyway, can I? Trader. Trade your cards for random others. Small key, small key. The loot. Got two keys. Cardsmith. Okay, that's cool. Baldron. Auto equip. Okay, so it's automatic armor. That's nice. Hammer can be quite good for stronger enemies, though it is slow. Maybe an auto equip pauldron would be alright. Do I want to trade my cards for random cards? Maybe I do. Let's have a look. First trade free, then 20 per trade. Three trades max. If I trade my rusty sword. Give me a pauldron. 
Okay. Upgrade. First is free, then 50. Okay. They just do more damage. Um... Hmm. That's auto-equipped and has four uses, so maybe that would be good to have a little bit stronger. Okay. I'll open this door and get my potion for extra health. And we move on. Monster deck. Six skeletons and two whatever that is. Okay, so I've got armor already. The knife. Can he attack diagonally? No. Maybe I need to do this. Oh, hang on. Will he get me back? He won't. Get out of here. Can get the incinerate and that'll damage everything. Yep. Cool. I've got a knife that deals four, so I can smack him quickly. Get the rusty sword and take him out. Lovely. Two vanity to deck. Hero takes three damage. No, thank you. Guess I'll get emeralds. Still not quite sure what the room selection really means, apart from they've got different amounts of things in them. Um, grab that, and I'll grab that. Incinerate's good. Oh, is that only what I can see that it gets damaged? That makes sense. Can I swap? No, I can't. So that's got to be used on him. Um, I'll use that on you. Use the lance on you. And we're done. Up to 84 gems now. Or emeralds, whatever they are. Orcs pendant. All barrels are X barrels. Plus three prop damage. Armor and monsters get plus two defense. Swords get plus two attack. That's alright. Okay, A room, L room. Is that the amount of my cards in the floor and enemies? I assume. They're automatically equipped at the start of the floor, so I don't need to use that. They should be active. Oh, that's a knife. That's why it's not... Oh, there it is. Six rusty sword. Okay. Um, well, that's an enemy there. I'm going to take this sword. I'm going to stand on the shield. He's going to flip. I'm going to smack him. Destroy. Seal. Deal six damage to cards in this column. Okay. Don't just keep picking up armor. Okay, fair enough. Move on. Interact. Remove and take six damage. No, thank you. Turn other either door into wall. So I can get the key and remove a card, or I can get emeralds and upgrade a card. It's like any other deck builder. Removing cards is probably good. Saying that, what would I want to remove at this stage? I think it just makes sense to go the upgrades. What is the next one? Cost 50. I mean, they're auto equip. There's that. I think that's fair. So I start off automatically with extra armor 
and doing extra damage. I think that's okay. Alright. Skulls and Archers. You can always undo the last action. Okay. There's the undo button oh, up here. Okay, didn't even notice it. Sentry, eager. Cloud flips immediately when you enter the room. Okay. Grab the shield, grab the sword. Deal six damage to diagonal cards. Does that count against these, I wonder? So if I do that and then attack that. I'm not sure if that would have destroyed that or not, but I wouldn't want to risk it. Uh, I think that way. Range. Can attack from further away as long as there is a direct line of sight to the target. Retreats after getting attacked directly. Okay. Um, I won't kill him because I can't uh, do nine damage in one go. But I think I'd rather... Hit you. And I can... Well, actually... No, that won't work. I think I just want to smack you, get you out of here. Then I'll grab the shield, grab the shield. Smack. And smack. Okay, lose 2 HP, attack heal 3. Mm -hmm. When you equip, you gain 10 emeralds. Add greed to deck. Greed is lose 10 emeralds. <laughs> okay. Lose 15 emeralds. Place 10 emeralds in 4 neighbor spots. I think I'm just going to go straight emeralds. A wide room. An eager sentry over there. I'm gonna grab the lance. Shield, I'm gonna poke him from here, and then I'm going to I'll use my normal sword for this. Okay, grab the rusty sword. I think we need to come up from this way. There we go. We're up to floor three. Plus six attack while use counter is odd. And gluttony to deck. Apply to sleep to hero. Monsters don't act while sleeping. Sleep is reduced by one at the end of the turn. But that applies to me. Okay. Flip eight neighbors. Deal nine damage to each. Six attack while no armor is equipped. Again, I think I just got the emeralds, don't I? Uh, wide room again. What have we got in this room? A sentry and a mystery. Grab the lance. Going to grab the shield. Poke. Smack. Retrace your steps. You'll retreat. Uh, is there a way out that I just haven't flipped yet, or is that the way out? That's it. You become reckless, careless, or tired. Hmm. Fatigue does nothing. Just like a curse in the deck. Reckless, I guess.
interesting. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. So obviously I had to clear the deck. That's why that wasn't an exit last time, I suppose. There was one enemy left. Okay, I've got two keys. I can upgrade, I can heal, I can find a loot. Remove cards is... Yeah, see, I was thinking I should have taken that curse. I could have removed it quite quickly then. But it wasn't to know. Uh, loot, heal, upgrade... Don't, don't know. I think I definitely just want to heal just to sort out that damage I took. Upgrade the two starting pauldrons again, just to buff them up. Thank you. What can I remove? Not really sold on this incinerate, but maybe I can remove a broken shield considering I start with two defensive items already. Move on. Floor four or five. Archers and sentries. Right click on a card to get more info. Okay, sentry, sentry. Something here, probably an archer. I'll grab that. Move to here. Go the smack immediately. Oh, okay. Ding. Get you diagonally. Get you front on. Get you front on. Done. Speed, uh, Road Runner's Ring. Immune to damage from props. Plus three prop damage. Enter room, gain one teleport charge. Teleport to an otherwise unreachable empty spot on the board. Heroes allowed to skip their turn. Never mind. Increasing prop damage. I think. Probably not the strongest option, but... I like the idea of being able to hit a barrel and really do damage to enemies indirectly. Uh, I'm going to grab the shield. I'm going to incinerate. Uh, get rid of you, I think. The rusty sword. Go smack. Do the same here. Get blocked, get blocked, get smacked. There we go. Uh, interesting little uh, gameplay loop, this. Another nice little chill game. As in, it's not too tense. You can sort of stop and think about what you're doing. Drop bottom weapon. Then get then top weapon gets plus ten attack. What is this? Whipping armor gives you defense. Ethereal is destroyed instead of going back to the hero's deck. Armor does not lose defense when hit. I'll try it. And again, I'm not really not thinking about which room I'm entering. I'm just sort of moving along. All right, incinerate early. Get those guys hit. You get a rusty sword. Interact, push, then remove. I can move a wall. I can't attack any of these without triggering them. 
If I take that, he'll just take a swing. It's fine. Not gonna kill me. Get rid of you. You. All of ice. Get you out of the way. Rusty chest. I can kill it for nine. But I don't have something to do nine damage, so I'll just move on. I think I'll take Reckless again. Fall of Ice. Will that flip him? No. Was that it? Interact. Option to skip floor one battle in next turn. I can buy cards. Uh, timer five when it runs out, lose HP equal to this card's defense. Back when a scroll is cast. Plus three attack, sorry, when a scroll is cast. Trigger Lightning 3. Deals Lightning damage to 4 neighbouring cards. Have HP. Right. Preparation. Quick cast. Draw the first scroll from deck at origin. I think the sword is probably the only real value to me at this moment. That'll combine with this trinket and be a bit stronger. And then when I cast a spell, it gets even stronger again. Okay, I've got one key. I'm going to remove a card. Definitely going to heal. That was free. Can upgrade or I can find a loot. I think I'll go the upgrade. Although I can't afford two upgrades. I didn't think of that. Um, right, that increases its attack when scrolls are cast. That doesn't excite me too much. Maybe incinerate. damage to each card. I'm assuming that means every card with health. If not, it's probably not great, but anyway. Done now. Is that a boss fella? Defeat the boss. Most of your weapons drop after a single attack. Yep. Hey. You won't defeat me. Play. Boss immunity. I mean to all damage while the other monsters in the room. Makes sense. 18 health. Um, and he's already flipped. So me, I'll smack him back. Cool. Little cheeky archer up there. Oh, I didn't uh think that he was gonna do that twice. Sneak off for that one. I'm going to grab Incinerate. Which will get rid of the Archer, get rid of the Sentry. No? Aren't you cowardly? Ah, retreats after being attacked directly, specifically. Okay. Well, you're gone. You're gone. I grab this shield. This Lance. Uh, what am I going to do? Pick you from here. I'm going to grab that. Smack you. Smack you again. Excuse me? Again? Not again. Okay, so... Lots of few goes at it, obviously. Alright. 
Start with the incinerate. Oh, that was... Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's all good. Hit that. Push wall. Flip then move this card away until it hits another card on the edge of all the edge of the room. If it hits a card, it gets flipped. Both take one damage and that card is pushed. If it hits the edge, it takes damage equal to the floor number and retreats. Nope. <laughs> Did nothing. Okay. Give me the rusty sword. I'm gonna get smacked here. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that rusty sword, because now. I need to waste it on a barrel, which is not good. Unless that's a... It's not. Uh, I don't really want to waste it, but I think I have to. Right, I'll block him. What's that likely to be a skeleton, do you think? I'm just going to grab this. Yep. He'll retreat. I'm going to lance him. Grab the shield. He'll hit me. I'll hit him back. Okay. Grab that block. But smack him good. Gonna take a little bit of damage, that's okay. Whoa, didn't have a weapon. Lovely. Gotta pay attention to that. Hasn't been an issue until this point. And he wants to go again. So sentry, enemies up there. Grab this one. You're done. I want to save that sword. Cast incinerate. Set out of my way. Beautiful. You're done. You're done. Get the shield. Get the shield. Infused sword. Oh, I didn't think that three is going to smack me there. But that's okay. I think we got him. I did it. Cop that. Law cleared. Get out of here. All right, that's the first dungeon done. 110 collected emeralds, no open chests, negative two backtracks, and zero undoes. I suppose, yeah, I could have been undoing a few of those silly mistakes, couldn't I? But in the end, made it. Unlocked higher tower difficulty. Okay, so there's a bit more. I was thinking the demo might just be a little quick run, but it looks like there's more to it than that. Place Envy at four neighbor spots. Okay, so you unlock cards, you unlock new towers to make your way up. Obviously there's a couple around here. Interesting, so it seems like there's going to be a, a little bit of content to this. New uh, classes as well, Rogue, Mage. I guess they're locked as well. The Rogue looks like it might be available, but the Mage might be locked behind the demo, so maybe that's one for the full release. But uh, yeah, it's actually quite a satisfying little game. But I'm going to wrap it up there. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description. Again, this was just in demo at the moment. The full game is out sometime this year. So check that one out and pop that on your wish list if you are interested. And if you like this content and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And I'm always looking for new uh, upcoming indie games to check out on my channel. So if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks again. And I will see you next time.